Hello, my name is Sarah. Um, if you watched the first video, uh, you know that. <laughs> um, but um, this video I'm just making to kind of get everyone more acquainted with someone who actually has stage 4 cancer. We have views in our mind and taught to us through the media of what someone who has cancer acts like or looks like and how they should feel and how they should act to the point that there are people without cancer who constantly tell me what people with cancer think or what they should do or what would save them though they really have no credentials you know they just read it in a magazine somewhere or their brothers sisters cousins uncles you know goat <laughs> um, got cured from it and um, those things don't help anyone they don't help you either um, don't tell them um, basically cancer sucks and there are there likely are ways that we will find in the future that can cure it. Um, but all cancers are somewhat different. They're not all just one same thing. Breast cancer itself isn't even just one thing. Especially if you divide it into people who get breast cancer um, before menopause and after. A lot of times, uh, and that deals with the hormones. Because you can be in a hormone sensitive, which is actually good. Um, even though you still have cancer, so not that good, um, and uh, be able to be on uh, hormone blockers, um, which will make the cancer not feed as fast on usually estrogen. Um, and then there are some people who have um, can breast cancer that is not um, responsive to hormones, and they can still live long lives as well, but it's, uh, it's, it's harder with the knowledge that's out there now. Unfortunately, we don't really know much about breast cancer. Um, we make a, a lot of money is made off of people like me, off of patients like me, and um, I don't, not only do I not see any of it in just like, you know, obvious ways, but I don't see it when I look at the numbers to see um, if we're doing better with breast cancer. There's a higher incidence rate every year, just for, uh, for the past few decades, and there's also a higher uh, mortality rate. So those don't go just by absolutes oh so it's a we have more people alive now than 20 years ago so this, there are more people will have it no these are talking about in like in the rate of it so these are you know not it's not dependent on how big of the size uh, it is so not only are more people getting breast cancer but it's the only major cancer that is actually increasing in the amount of incidence and mortality rates so, whenever people are congratulating themselves for how far they've gotten with cancer, maybe we should ask, why have we gotten worse with breast cancer? We're not getting anywhere with it. All the money is going to awareness that it exists. Okay. <laughs> awareness of pink shirts. Awareness so you can get anything in pink. Anything. Like, literally anything. <laughs> or um, uh, to early detection, which is actually not the uh, panacea that it kind of tries to act like it is. In fact, a lot of times by early detection, really just trying to get you to, trying to get the patients to blame themselves. That's, that's one thing that, that people like to do a lot um, with breast cancer and a lot of other diseases. Whenever there's not just like an easy answer, because no one wants to just think, oh, I'm going to get it even though I'm a good person. Yeah, you can get it. It's not It's not just because you're too fat. It's not because you're, you smoked. It's not this, it's not, you know, there are lots of reasons why people get cancer. And it's a mixture of different things. And that's why we still don't have a cure for it. That's why we're nowhere near a cure for it with breast cancer. And we need to stop thinking in the same ways about it and researchers need to get better too like we really need to start holding people accountable if your job is to try to save lives the lives of people with cancer then you should be saving lives nobody's <laughs> the lives are not being saved the numbers prove that so uh, basically I'm just gonna talk sometimes on here sometimes these might not be the best I'm doing them kind of off the top of my head um, but on top of everything else, I mostly just want to know what sorts of things people would be interested in learning about when it comes to breast cancer, especially um, if you want to know about stage 4 or with young patients. Um, and by young, I really just mean under 40 um, because it used to be a disease up until very recently that no one really thought, it was thought of as like a middle-aged to old elder disease. Never, you know, 
never really happened. I'm sure it happens every once in a while, but not very often with younger people. And um, the number is going way up with that. Um, I got cancer the first time whenever I was 29. I'm 35 now, and um, now I'm stage four. Um, I got rid of it, supposedly, um, but not now. Um, so just let me know what questions you have, and I'll be having interviews with people about cancer as well. And um, any question is fine. If it's, you know, rude or ridiculous, then I'll probably just not answer it because there's no point. But if it, if, you know, even if it just sounds stupid, but you just don't know, feel free to ask it. Because I know that there are a lot of things that I thought sounded stupid as well. And I was just like, uh, how do I not know what that means? Or how, this happens? Um, yeah, the, you're not hearing the information about, you're not really hearing much accurate information, really, about cancer. If you're looking anywhere in the media or even to your doctors. <laughs> so we'll try to, I'll try to get some answers to that. Um, I try to research it as much as I can. Um, and it's, it's kind of, it's kind of sad when you look at statistics too, how much we're being lied to, um, to skew it just to not scare people as much and to get people to keep on paying money because nothing else. Breast cancer has really made a lot of money for companies by killing a lot of people.